In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the, uh, the mailings app. This app will control and pull in the letter that you created in the other app and start the process of developing your template. So each one of these mailing items is one mailing that you'll pull into a campaign template later on. So let's get into it. You'll understand as this develops. And this app is also pretty simple. It only has four fields, but it controls which letter will be sent for this mailing, when it will be sent, and the order in which it will be sent. So let's add an app. Create your own app. Call this mailings. Call the item name mailing. They'll find an envelope. Nope. How about a letter? Keep looking down here. Sometimes there's too many. You know there's one in here and you never can find it that you're looking for. But I know there's an envelope. This one's good enough. As I said before, I like the table approach, the table standard layout. And again, don't worry about the app description or instructions. You can add those later on. And advanced, don't worry about that. I'll create the app. Now we will put in the fields for the template. For this first one will be description. Make it a single line field. The next field will be a relationship field. This is where you'll pull in the letter. We'll call it letters, save. And on the options here, we only want one reference because we're not going to have multiple letters in the same mailing. I guess it's possible, but I haven't worked that out yet. So in this case, we'll only do one. Rename this letter. Now, the next field is the sequence number, which tells me which number this is going to be mailed out in when we pull it into the campaign. So we'll do a number field, pull that in, call it sequence number, what I name this over here. All right, and now the options here, keep it default, display whole number, and that's it. Now I'll add another number field, and this one will be days from start, which means this letter will go out, or is scheduled to go out, this many days from the start of the campaign. You'll see this when I create the campaign app and how this plays with it. So this field should also be a whole number field. We don't need decimals, and that should be it. We'll hit done. And that's how you create the mailings app. It's just as easy as the letter app. And now you have two apps of the five completed. And let's add a mailing just to show you how it works. So we'll call this mailing number one. And the letter we want to pick, we want to pick the probate letter number one mailing. Sequence numbers will be the first letter that goes out. In the days from start, I want to send this one out one day after I set up and start the camp set the start campaign date. And that's it. <clears throat> now I'll go in since this is very easy. We'll add a new mailing. Mailing number two. Select probate letter number two. Sequence two. And this will be 30 days from the start. So if you want a full 30 days after the last letter, so 31 days from the start date of the campaign. So this will be 30 days after the first mailing. We'll save this. And the new mailing, mailing number three. Pick the third probate letter, third sequence, start date, 61 days from the start date, which will be 30 days after the second letter and 60 days after the first letter. And now we'll save. 
And if we back all the way out to the mailings app, the front, the main view, you'll see that I have three mailings set up, the three probate leads, sequence number, and here are the days from the start. So that's how you set up the mailings app. Again, very simple. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll surely get back to you. Thank you.